to the Suburban Stitcher podcast. My name is Diane and today is February 23rd, 2018. It's a Friday. I am just so excited for the weekend. I have been working my little tail off trying to dye all of the things for all of the upcoming events and I am even though I really don't get to take time off this weekend, <laughs> I'm always excited for the weekend. It just seems a little more relaxed, um, even if you have to work. So I, I hope that um, if this goes up today or tomorrow that you are getting some time to spend to yourself or if it goes up sometime after the weekend that you had a good time. I am just so excited to be with you all. I cannot wait um, to talk to you about my knitting. So as far as announcements, um, we have the Get Suburban Knit Along and I am going to input that information right here. Hey, okay, so the Get Suburban Cowl. I want to thank everybody who keeps entering, keeps talking about it. Please, please, please make sure that on Instagram that you're tagging any Suburban Stitcher projects with hashtag Get Suburban. And of course, you can always double, triple, octuple, dip <laughs> any of these projects in another cowl. The more knitting, the more fun. Um, I have drawn a number. Um, we have posts, we have 11 posts now, really 10. Um, entries, which is not so bad. I mean, I have, I've only been dying yarn for a year, um, but I really just encourage y'all to invite more people, and I'm, I'm going to be, try to get much better about spreading the word about this cow. But, so I did random.org for posts 2 through 11, and random.org picked post number 5, and that is playing with needles. Playing with Needles is Jen from Georgetown, Texas. Hi, Jen. Another gal from Texas or who lives in Texas. Maybe you're not from Texas either, just like I'm not, <laughs> but we're both here now. So Jen from Georgetown, please message me. The really exciting prize, and I have my computer over here, so that's why I'm looking off. Um, there's too many things to reference for this. But the prize this time around, I was contacted by the absolutely lovely ladies over at the Cozy Up with the Sitchin Sisters um, podcast, and they have started designing some patterns. They have some beautiful, beautiful designs out there. They sent me a copy of their new pattern called Katie's Shawl. Katie's Shawl is an asymmetrical, kind of start at one tip and then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, asymmetrical um, triangle shape. And you can use two colors. Um, it is about two skeins worth of yarn. It says 850 to 875 yards, so depending on your yardage. Um, see, the thing that they designed it for officially is to be able to be used with mini skeins, but you could also use it with just two colors. You could have a main color and lots of accent colors in those mini skeins, so it's a great way to um, show off lots of different yarns, however your personality um, would like to show it off or use up your yarn. So thank you so much, sisters. I am so grateful for the um, pattern donation. One of my favorite parts about this particular knit along is that all year we're going to get introduced to maybe brand new pattern designers and um, brand new patterns that are out there. Um, if you have a, if you're a designer and you have something that you would like to give away on um, this particular segment of the podcast, do not hesitate to contact me and I would love to help you showcase your pattern. Um, that's specifically what the prizes on this segment and this giveaway, this whole knit along are going to be all year. So thank you, sisters, um, and again, that's Katie's shawl is the prize, and playing with needles. Let me get back there and just make sure that I'm saying that correctly. 
Jen from Georgetown, but yes, playing with needles is the winner. And she knit, I do want to say what she knit because it's so beautiful. She knit a pair of Irving socks, which is um, a pattern by um, Jacqueline Salem of the Brooklyn Knit Folk podcast. She knit a pair of the Irving socks out of my, um, I think it was December, almost positive. Yeah, December yarn of the month, and it was called Yarn Lang Syne. And oh my gosh, it's so fun. It's a beautiful, very pale tonal with kind of gray and sort of a golden color. And then it's got some golden, more that lean more orange speckles and some darker charcoal speckles. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pattern that she chose for these socks. I'm, I'm looking at it again. I absolutely love it. So Jen, go ahead and contact me and I will get in touch with the Cozy Up Sisters and we'll get that pattern over to you. Thanks for participating and back to the episode. The other knit along that we have going is the Rainbow Along. That ends at the end of February, so we just have a few more days left. Um, and I hope that you are knitting all of the rainbow projects and really enjoying that knit along. As I have said many times, it is certainly very fun and the brightest knit along that we do every year. And so um, that goes until the end of February, February 28th, which is next Wednesday. I will actually be driving to a retreat on Wednesday. So I won't, I don't know exactly when I'll close that thread. Maybe, I'm thinking maybe I will close that um, probably sometime that weekend. So not Next Wednesday is the 28th. I will try to go in and close that thread maybe like the second or so, Friday or Saturday, to give you plenty of time to fin post any finished objects. They do not have to be blocked. They do not have to be ends woven in, but if you can just throw a picture in there and then you're entered for um, whatever prizes I pulled together for you. Um, there were no sponsors this year. Um, so let's talk about knitting. I do not have any finished objects this week. That is just going to be, <laughs> that is just going to be the name of the game. Um, I worked on my Meline hat a little bit. I finally got past the big section of ribbing for the brim, the big fold up brim, and I'm into the um, kind of lace um, pattern for the hat. It's gonna be slow going because I have a couple of other things that are on, a more front burner, shall we say. <laughs> um, the project that this time has gotten certainly the most of my attention is my Suburban Wrap. And if you remember last week, this is the design that um, is coming out in just a few weeks. Um, it's by Hohi Locatelli. It is a wrap that is very reminiscent, I, sa I would say, of her um, three color cashmere um, designs. So there's lots of panels of stripes and stockinette and garter and texture and color changes and you just don't ever get a chance to be bored at all. So I also want to say, I'm sure you are all aware because if you're watching me then you certainly know, but just in case Hohi has a journal that she is putting on YouTube now on her YouTube channel. I will link it either here on YouTube or in my official show notes, but um, I have just enjoyed so much getting to watch her every week talk about her knitting and talk about her design process, talk about her yarn choosing and um, just how she does what she does. And I, it's such a great treat to me to be able to sort of see into the eyes of the designer, right? So that's really fun. You should check it out. Um, okay, so back to the Suburban Wrap. Here it is, and I'm gonna, I am gonna glance over at my screen here. If it looks like I'm staring off in the distance, I got a comment about that last time. So I, I am not a professional. I have been doing this for a long time, but the camera that I use is new as of September-ish, August, September, and, um, instead of an iPad or a computer where your camera is right at the level, it is off to the side. 
and um, sometimes I do need to see what I'm doing instead of just totally hoping that it's right. <laughs> so you'll see me peer off to the side now and then and that's just gonna happen because <laughs> I am not a professional. Um, okay, so here is the Suburban Wrap. I absolutely love it. I am kind of, I'm really probably three quarters of the way done. And I'm just loving, loving this so much. <laughs> um, I hope you can see the texture. Um, the colors that I'm using and let's see this blue color bluish gray is called clean slate this um, sort of grayish blue toned neutral is called overcast the same one right here and then this third color is called Ballard and I just love I love the complexity of each color. I love how they're working together. I just think it's so beautiful. So, um, so that is the Suburban Wrap. I'm just really, I hope over the next day or two um, that just by nature of it being a mom and having kids and having a little bit less work opportunity over the next couple of days, I really hope that I can finish this design up this weekend. I'm quite excited about it. So that is one thing I have just been putting most of my attention on. However, I did start a new thing um, last Saturday. Sitting around on Saturday night and um, it's in my new Mrs. Brown's bags that I showed off last week. I was sitting around last Saturday night and I just got this itch. I have been saying, no, I can't cast anything on. I've got, you know, my wrap to work on, or I've got other obligation, quote unquote, knitting, whether it be test knitting or other projects that have just felt like they were the one that needed, that really needed to get my attention. And to be quite honest, it was sort of stealing my knitting joy. Um, and I know that everybody can understand that you know you have the thing that you feel like you have to do whether it's knitting or whether it's work or whether it's something at home and because you're obsessing over that one thing so much it's stealing the happiness of of the rest of the thing so because I was so worried about you know had these other priorities I still felt like I needed a project to just be excited in the moment and I cast something on and I am loving it so much this project is called Gelato. It is a brand new shawl by Vera Valamaki, and certainly I am so excited to meet her, take some classes from her next weekend. Um, and I just knew that I wanted to cast this on and bring it with me on my trip. I remember seeing this on her Instagram several weeks, maybe even a month ago, and seeing the colors and loving the colors. They're beautiful pastels. Um, here's another picture. Beautiful pastels and this sort of brioche section that she shows in this gold color right there. Um, I just absolutely love it. And yeah, I'm, I'm just so excited about this project. So I looked in my stash and I purposely picked things that were not Suburban Stitcher yarn because it, one, I have so much beautiful yarn that I have stashed from before I was a yarn dyer and then even since <laughs> becoming a dyer that um, it needs to get used. And then I knew if it was my yarn, then it would become that obligation knitting that I would feel like, oh, I need to finish it because I need a shop sample or or something. So I pulled out three very precious skeins that I am so in love with all of them. The first is this color 
that is called Seed. This is from Hedgehog Fibers. This is in their Skinny Singles. And so Seed is mostly neutral with these little blips of pink and golden and green colors. I had started a Love You Baby shawl back last summer and this was one of the colors and then when I, I actually ripped that project out because I knew I wouldn't finish it and I salvaged this yarn and so this was one of the colors. So this project has two kind of you start with this section at the top where you can see her pink and then there's some stripes here and then you get to the brioche and then there's stripes and it ends in this other color. So the two colors that are my stripes I started with the seed. You can see I'm working on this crescent. I have, I don't know, I have to increase quite a few more stitches, but it's started. I'm loving that, loving the fabric. I'm knitting this on size seven signature needles. Um, but the second color that will be in the stripes is Lavender Loon. Um, Lavender Loon Yarn Co. in her Northern Mud colorway. This she gifted to me um, last fall. And so it's a beautiful taupe, beige, brown, golden, um, browns, lots of golden browns and yellowy taupey colors in here that I absolutely love. It's called Northern Mud. This is on her um, single ply. All of these yarns are single ply. So these will be the stripes and you can see these together. And I really love that it's going to be pretty subtle. They're kind of too light to medium neutrals. I do love, however, that I'm going to get like hot pink blips in there. So it's neutral with a little bit of a surprise. And then my third color, which will be that brioche section, is also Lavender Loon. I love, I love you, Sam. <laughs> I, I really do. It, you have got to go check her shop out. Um, she's so talented. Just a really exciting yarn dyer that does some different things that I don't see out there. She definitely has her own style, and I... I love her colorways. So if you are not familiar with her shop, you need to be. And she is on Etsy, Lavender Loon Yarn Co. Um, but this colorway, it's on a single base, but it's singles with sparkle. And so I don't know if that's going to pick up. Maybe you can see the sparkle there. But this colorway is called Grunge Parlor. And it is a single with Stellina. The grunge Parlor has some mauves and some, kind, I would say more yellow, like true golden yellow rather than the um, kind of beigey warm brown yellow. So there's a couple of that same golden tone in the northern mud, but mostly this is more yellow and mauve and brown. And, and purple, kind of plum, just lots of colors, lots of depth of color in this. I This may be one of my favorite colorways that she does. It's called Grunge Parlor. So I'm really, I can't wait to get to where I'm introducing another color because I'm loving this. So that is my gelato shawl. And again, that is by Vera Valamaki. And I've just barely started it, but I hope to get quite a bit of it worked on next weekend. And the last thing, I actually just cast this on the other day. The other day, yesterday? No, today. I cast it on today while I was getting my hair done. Yet again, Diane has the hair chameleon. You can see we're trying to work on lightening this back here. So currently it's pretty orange. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Compared to the like purpley gray 
ash color that's over here that I love. Um, this was all the start color and so we're starting to lighten it and it's going to take a few times. It's going to be orangey red for a little while for a month or so till the next time when I can lighten it a little bit more. Anyway, um, I decided that I needed dishcloths, right? Like all of us, we are all yarn hoarder enabled. <laughs> and to be quite honest, I did not have that much dishcloth yarn and I have purchased some in the last week quite a bit because I I really enjoy quick little finishes and I, like Amber and all of you who are maybe doing this this year, just cannot wait and are so excited about the idea of having a stack of washcloths at the end of the year to be able to use as gifts or, you know, throughout the year as gifts. So this was actually one that I already had. It was already, I think I've made one out of this one or maybe the boys made one washcloth out of this and um so I have started it I'm not quite halfway I started on bamboo needles and then I actually was messaging Amber <laughs> because I wanted to see her take on if she had a favorite needle and she said that she definitely prefers wooden needles of course to the bamboo which I was knitting it on bamboo to start with that was just ridiculous. I've switched over temporarily to a um, this is knitter or uh, knit pro zing a size 8 knit pro zing. I've actually and this is way too long of a cord for this for my taste I've actually ordered a 24 inch um, needle to be able to knit these a little bit faster but I definitely prefer knitting it on a metal needle because the cotton is quite slow as far as fiber so slow fiber on a slow sticky needle is just a bad combination um, the needles that I ordered I believe are going to they're not zings they did I order a Chowgu? Either a Chowgu or a Haya Haya. Honestly, I can't remember, but it will have a sharper point. This one is a great needle, but my only complaint is that it is a little bit dull. So um, yeah, I'm just really, really excited to try out knitting, first of all, these on metal needles, and then also to see how far I can get keeping up with knitting them throughout the year and I'm keeping it <laughs> in this bag that my kids started using this little bag as their washcloth bag because they tend to knit washcloths when they decide I want to knit again <laughs> um, and so I put it in a baseball bag since they love baseball but my washcloths have just always sort of stayed in here and um, yeah so that is that and that's really it for my knitting um, Hello Lovelies this week is not very heavy. <laughs> I had one thing come in. I ordered this little kit, I guess technically, from um, Yarn at Home Mom. This fun, bright colorway is called I Needed the Strawberries, and it's from her Gilmore Girls Club or collection this cute little stitch marker with like a blueberry tort or blueberry pancakes or cake or something. So cute. I love the Gilmore Girls. I don't totally know this reference, but I just had to have it because of the colors. And that marker is so cute, right? So, <laughs> so that's it. Okay. Shop news. Same as we've been saying um, is that I am just prepping for all the things and I don't have a big shop update planned until after DFW Fiber Fest. So what is in there is in there and just grab it up. Um, that being said, I actually do know I am going to put a few skeins of um, River's Edge on glitter because I I just had a couple of, like I had a batch that I needed to dye up just an extra pan. And so I threw some glitter skeins in there and 
so there's going to be River's Edge on glitter. Um, one new color that I'm so smitten with, guys, I cannot even tell you. This colorway was me trying out new dyes, and initially I thought I would not be able to recreate it, and I did. I'm so excited that I was able to. So, this is it. It is called, I'm trying to sort of get it up here. It's called Sweet Pea, and you can see that there's like, actually that's a good spot to show you. Hold on. Okay, so it has sort of a purpley, pink, light, lightish base. And then there's like green speckles and these bright sections of hot pink speckles. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. It's sort of my new color obsession. <laughs> so, yeah, I just love it. I just think the speckles on here are so pretty. So this one is called Sweet Pea and it's new and it will be at the spring shows um, coming up, Hill Country Weavers Retreat and the um, DFW Fiber Fest. That's really it. Shop news is kind of boring right now, but it is what it is. I hope that you all have a lovely week and I have enjoyed chatting with you and I would love to continue chatting with you on YouTube or um, in the Ravelry group. You can find me as DBB Stitch on Ravelry. There is a Ravelry, um, Suburban Stitcher Ravelry group for this podcast and then it's also kind of the unofficial home for Suburban Stitcher yarn. If you have questions you can go over there about the yarn. Um, I have a website where I put all of the show notes and that's suburbanstitcher.com and you can find links to the Etsy store, to the Ravelry group, to all things Suburban Stitcher over there. Um, I think that's it. I hope that you all have a lovely week and I will see you soon. Bye. I don't know if y'all can see in the back. Can you see I have a new mannequin? <laughs> She doesn't really have a name yet. It's got to be something, maybe something French. I keep thinking she's going to be Fleur, like F-L-E-U-R, Fleur. Maybe that needs to be a colorway too. That would be pretty. Anyway, yes, let's name her Fleur. So Fleur is my new mannequin to bring to shows and... I had to put a, manic uh, a shawl on her. Of course, she needed to keep her shoulders warm while she's here.